Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Matt is here all the way from the UK, along with Max Mooney, and we're about to call the second ever Great North Wrestling Battle Royal. 30 men in the ring. That's right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting Great North Wrestling event. 30 men in the ring right now. Big battle royal. This is the second one we've had. First one ever, of course, Lanny Coffer winning the first ever battle royal and becoming the first Canadian heavyweight champion. That's correct. Lanny Poffo, approximately four years ago, won the first ever battle royal when the Canadian heavyweight championship was on the line. Of course, now Hannibal the Animal is the current Canadian heavyweight champion, retaining his title recently against AJ Styles. Actually, a former Canadian heavyweight champion is in this match, Jeremy Prophet. How long did Jeremy Prophet hold that title? Jeremy Prophet held that title for three years, as you see him getting struck here by the mass of Darko. That's right. Three years is a very long time to have a championship. Jeremy Prop here, one of the top competitors here in Great North Wrestling. Who do you think is the winner for this kind of match? I believe the favorite in this match is Darko here, but it appears he's being teamed up on now Except by... He's in trouble. Every, almost everyone in the Battle Royal is working on him now. This might be a smart move. And Darko's eliminated. Unbelievable. Your choice got eliminated pretty quick. It looks like all the Great North Wrestling Superstars teamed up to get rid of Darko. Probably a very smart maneuver considering Darko is over seven feet tall. Of course, and he also weighs about 350 pounds, and he has to make his way to the back right now as we see another competitor almost getting thrown out of the ring here by Mr. America, Platinum Preston Perry. Platinum Preston Perry trying to get one of the Superstars out. I would say he's one of the top competitors as well. I, I would pick him as my choice because look at the shape he's in. He's absolutely huge these days. He's got a lot of stamina and of course his victory, um, his victories in the past have really put him to the top of Great North Wrestling. And of course he recently had WWE tryouts and tryouts with Jeff Jarrett's Global Force Wrestling. So he has been wrestling all over the place, especially in his native USA. That's right. So who do you think is the next uh, Great North Wrestling competitor to face Hannibal? Uh, it's going to be a tough choice to see who the number one contender is. I'm sure this battle royal will help play a role in selecting the top ten competitors of Great North Wrestling. Jeremy Prophet, of course, is going to be very hungry for a rematch. As we see uh, Billy Lee from Quantum Force almost being thrown out of the ring right here by Commander Rick Sniper on the far side of the ring. That's right, Commander Rick Sniper. And all the way from Kingston, Ontario, as well, we also have in the ring uh, Platinum Preston Perry. We spoke about him earlier. Platinum Preston Perry is probably one of the top Great North Wrestling superstars, I would say. Definitely, he's one of the top. And of course, the rock master Billy Lee has had a very long career here, wrestled all over Canada. His partner, Jimmy Jam Lee, in the ring, and newcomer to Great North Wrestling, John Maloney from Smith Falls, Ontario. He's currently running to be a city councillor in that town, and he is a former amateur boxer who had a huge boxing victory, demolishing his opponent at a recent Great North Wrestling event in Smith Falls, his hometown. That's right, that was one heck of an event. Both uh, members of Quantum Force in the ring, how do you think things will play out? Are there any... Are there any teams here? Are there any allies? Well, of course, there's Sexy Eddie, who has wrestled all over the United States, Canada, even Japan, who teams up with Jeremy Prophet on a regular basis here as Sex Factor. So they will definitely be teaming up. As we see, one gentleman almost eliminated here, but he's holding on, and another wrestler holding on. A lot of fight from the Great North Wrestling Superstars. Everybody wants the shot. This is a huge shot. Darko's pulling on someone from the outside. Darko's refusing to leave the ring area, it appears. Darko should be out of here. He has been eliminated, but he's not leaving. I believe it's Sexy Eddie he was pulling on. He, Sexy Eddie had either foot on the side of the ropes and he's holding his groin now. Darko was just yanking on those feet of his. That's right, Darko was dangerous even outside the ring. Darko has got to be one of the top competitors for Hannibal's Great North Wrestling Canadian Heavyweight Championship. The two have faced off in the past. Hannibal has just scraped by with a victory as we see more superstars being eliminated. But I believe Darko has held, uh, had a great string of victories since then. That's right. I don't believe uh, Darko's lost the last couple of years. Uh, Darko right up there with the best of the best standing seven feet tall and weighing 300 pounds. Of course, Darko managed by Doc Cash who has been a forced to be reckoned with on the managerial side of Great North Wrestling for a number of years. Doc Cash now also managing the mysterious ninja master himself, the dragon, uh, 
What's his name? The Black Dragon. The Black Dragon, that's right. The Black Dragon, another new competitor here in Great North Wrestling. He'd be a force to be reckoned with. He had a victory in Hawkesbury, Ontario. Won his match in less than a minute. Yes, of course. He's a brand new competitor here as we see Jimmy Jam Lee being eliminated. And uh, the Black Dragon is certainly going to be a huge force to be reckoned with and a potential opponent for Hannibal That's in the right. future. And now, someone's got to get Darko out of here. I think he's got to get here. Jeremy Prophet eliminating more great North American superstars on the other side of the ring. Lots of action on both sides. Hammer away. And uh, it looks like Billy Lee here trying to take Jeremy Prophet over the top rope. Jeremy Prophet might be out here as we see Platinum Preston Perry getting beat on by Commander Sniper. These two are one and one in their series of matches right now. They have not had the rubber match yet, but there appears to be no love lost between these and two. It looks like Platinum Preston Perry might be out here. No, he's raked the eyes of his opponent there. The opponent is down on the mat and now taking a beating from Perry. Sexy Eddie's still in the ring as we see Jeremy Prophet chop Billy Lee and deliver a huge forearm smash to his face in the corner. That's right, no shortage of cheap maneuvers by Platinum Preston Perry. He will do whatever it takes to win. Another superstar eliminated on the outside here by Sexy Eddie, who is now bashing Billy Lee from behind. You were talking about the double team situation. Here is Prophet and Sexy Eddie in the far corner, double teaming Billy Lee, as we see some big chops here from Platinum Preston Perry. That's right, there are no allies in this match. It's every man for himself, this is a big shot. John Maloney holding his own with some big forearm smashing, but now he's backing up, but he's smashing Commander Sniper again. And Sniper is not backing down, Sniper goes right after him, and looks like Jeremy Prophet in trouble here. What's going on? Might have just eliminated another superstar, and it looks like Quantum Force is out. Jeremy Prophet just eliminated the Rockmaster Billy Lee, that's both men out of the ring and they're on the outside here. Unbelievable. That's unfortunate. They're wishing they're back in the 1980s now. And has John Maloney been eliminated? I see John Maloney on the outside of the ring, but he may have gone through, not been eliminated over the top rope. I guess we'll have to wait and see what the referee's final decision is on this. I think this. he went through the middle rope. I might be wrong. Looks like somebody else is getting eliminated here. Yes, I believe that's Pat Shenny went hard to that cement floor. Of course, Great North Wrestling wrestlers are the toughest in the world. We do not use padding on the outside of the ring. And that's how the wrestlers like it. As we see stunning Steven Levac, a local here on the outside of the ring. I'm not sure if he's been eliminated or not. Yeah, Steven Levac actually went through the second rope, so he's not eliminated. He did get thrown out, but not over the top rope. Of course, you have to be thrown over the top rope, and both feet have to touch the floor in order to be eliminated. And I believe that John Maloney had the same instance. We were questioning that before. He seems to be hanging out away from the action right now, which could be a smart move. See, and in a match like this where there's so much action, you need a ring, ringside enforcer, and we have a local ringside enforcer making sure that anybody who gets eliminated stays eliminated. And it appears they finally got Darko away from the outside of the ring. I don't see him on the outside any longer. There's a lot of referees keeping the action under control here. All the men in the ring are down right now. All the men appear to be tired. That's right, we're down to just about Half a dozen men left in the ring here from the original 30 men. Stephen Levac back in the ring. Stephen Levac may have eliminated a superstar, yes. Stephen Levac with a big elimination here. That superstar is onto the floor. P Platinum Preston Perry just gets thrown out right behind him. I believe that could have been Jeremy Prophet throwing Platinum Preston Perry over the top rope. It looks like Stephen Levac's in trouble here now as Sex Factor. That's of course Sexy Eddie and Jeremy Prophet, the tag team, teaming up on Stunning Stephen Levac. Levac. They're teaming right. up on him, just chopping his chest red. So it looks like the uh, the stables are coming to play here now. If you have no allies, you're in trouble, and Stephen for sure has no allies in this room. No, they appear to be having some fun with him. Of course, these two are veterans of the ring. They've both been wrestling at least 10 years. chops. And they are just destroying the chest of Stephen Levac with the chops, as John Maloney just having some fun off to the side. Stephen Levac now coming with the huge double clothesline. He actually takes Jeremy Prophet and Sexy Eddie down with that clothesline. Now this is where John Maloney is uh, has to show some intensity here and throw Stephen Levac or Jeremy Prophet or Sexy Eddie over the top rope. That's right, he has to take advantage of the situation. He's the only man standing, everyone else is down. Stephen Levac now back to his feet, very injured. I heard Stephen Levac is actually wrestling with a broken rib and look, Stephen Levac with a big elimination. He throws John Maloney outside of the ring. John Maloney was not fast enough. Good night, and, Maloney. No, yeah, good night, <laughs> Maloney. He's out of there. He's going back to the wine business for at least a little while. Maybe learn a lesson or two in the ring. And it appears that Stephen Levac might be going to the outside now as well. well. It looks like Stephen stole some fight in him. Only four men left in the ring here. Stephen Levac chopping away, hammering at Sexy Eddie. 
But Jeremy Prophet with the big kick to the chest, right to those injured ribs. Of course, Jeremy Prophet has a huge martial arts background, a former kickboxer, and we are seeing some of those huge kicks now. On Stephen Levac, who appears to be possibly out of the ring. He's still holding on. His feet aren't on the ropes. Unfortunately, no, he's on the down. Floor. They're on the floor now, and he is out of it. He may have lasted a little longer. He avoided being in the ring for the majority of this match, and that was a smart move by Levac. But uh, he had an impressive showing for his first outing here, as we see some vicious, vicious uh, forearms to the head of Commander Rick Snyder. That's right. You mentioned tag teams here could be either an advantage or a disadvantage, and it looks like Commander Rick Sniper is in trouble as he's going two on one here. And here are some big hits to the faces of Commander Sniper. He's come off some huge victories here in Great North Wrestling as he takes both men's head and smashes them together. knocker. <laughs> you don't see that every day. No, both of these men are in a lot of pain here. Big kick right to the face. Huge crescent super kick to the face, the jaw area of Commander Sniper. Commander Sniper might have lost a tooth there. The two men are discussing how they're going to throw Commander Rick Sniper out. This is very interesting. Of course, it's an every man for himself match, but this is a tag team left in here with Rick Sniper. Looks like Rick Sniper is going out. What's Jeremy this? Prophet pulling the Benedict Arnold here, throwing his partner Sexy Eddie out of the ring and actually waving goodbye. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Jeremy Prophet stabbing his own partner in the back. Sexy Eddie is not happy. The referee, Stefan Poirier, is telling this is going to be a big choke slam huge slam. choke slam he slams him right out of his boots Jeremy Prophet is in trouble here so Commander Rick Sniper is fired up here there goes Jeremy this is it Commander Sniper no Jeremy Prophet is still holding onto the top rope Jeremy Referee Prophet Jamie skinning Hisman the hat checking on the outside yes skin, skinning the cat Commander Sniper thinks he's won I'm not sure if he has one Sexy Eddie on the outside now, getting in the face of Commander Rick They Sniper. have to get Sexy Eddie out of here. He's eliminated. He should be down. Jeremy Prophet now has a guitar. I don't know where he's got this guitar. He has a guitar. This is totally uncalled for. A huge guitar shot to the head. Commander Rick Sniper. Shades of the Honky Tonk Man, who is a regular here in Great North Wrestling, as Jeremy Prophet smashes that guitar to smithereens. I think the Honky Tonk Man left that guitar last time he was here. It looks like Jeremy Prophet in control here. Jeremy Prophet throwing All a fired temper up. tantrum here as we see some hair, big afro here. He wants Prophet. that title back. Is he going to get it? He has the shot. He may have the title shot right here as we see Jeremy Prophet in the ring victorious. He has defeated 30 other superstars. He has shown how bad he wants to reach the top of Great North Wrestling. Like you mentioned, he's had the title for three years and he wants that title back. I think this is a big message to Hannibal that Jeremy Prophet's coming for him. And he's willing to do anything to do it as we saw there with the guitar. Sexy Eddie not happy about what transpired in the ring. Saying, why did you have to throw me out? Of course, it's every man for himself, but could we see the end of this tag team? No, they're sticking together. They understand this was a battle royal. Jeremy Prophet was victorious and the team of Sex Factor will live to fight another day in the Great North Wrestling Tag Team Division. Very interesting hair here by Jeremy Prophet, reminiscent of Andre the Giant in the 1970s. Referee Jamie Hisman, the head referee of Great North Wrestling, getting rid of the guitar debris right now. I guess there were no rules in this battle royal. No rules, and we'll see you next time on Great North Wrestling.